Hey all, FTRV, how you doing? Well, today's video is gonna be another installation video. If you watch some of our other videos, you know we have Vincent Van Gogh here, our little converted uh, camper van. Last year, Halo View sent us a monitoring system. So we got a rear facing camera, if you can see it right here somewhere, and then a front facing camera, and it does record. But now Halo View has come out with the first ever dual system. Not only can you hook up four cameras, but you can also monitor your tire pressure. So stay tuned for that installation. All right, welcome back. Well, this is what we're gonna do with this system. I'm gonna put a camera on my cargo trailer back there. That way we'll be able to monitor the rear when we got the cargo trailer hooked up. So now is that gonna be good for my business furniture restoration? But our plan is when we go out in the van, every once in a while, we're gonna take this trailer with us for our e-bikes and things like that. Real quick, this is what you get with the kit. It's all laid out here. Got your touch screen, which actually seems very heavy and durable. Your camera, a rubber uh, backing for the camera for waterproofing. Got some wires here to help you um, program your cameras or connect your cameras to the screen. Here's some couple ways to mount. You can either use the suction cup on your windshield or you can use the 3M tape. Here's your power sources for your monitor, your antennas. Here's your six tire pressure monitors. It comes with six, the kit comes with six, so that's kind of nice. Got your batteries. These are some lock nuts if you want to use to try to kind of safety feature to lock the tire pressure monitoring gauges onto your stems on your tires. These are important. They're signal boosters. Comes with two of those. In the instruction manual, it's gonna show you where you're gonna to need to mount that. And it's gonna need power also, 12 volt power. If you had something like Breaking Dawn, our 43 foot fifth wheel, you may actually need both signal boosters. Hopefully, I say hopefully, I, I'm sure I'm only gonna need the one for this installation, but we're gonna go over that also. The biggest issue for me with this cargo trailer is constant 12 volt power. Now I can run it from Vincent Van Gogh to the trailer and have constant 12 volt power, but I don't want to have to do that. I just, I don't want to have to do that. I want this to be a little bit quicker installation. So basically I'm going to just, just use the available 12 volt power in the trailer and I'll have to turn my headlights on when I want to use that camera. It's not a biggie for me. I'll just drive with my headlights on. And of course, if you are looking for a camera system like this, I'll put a link below. I can tell you that I've really enjoyed my original Halo view and I'm expecting everything, if not something a little bit better out of this next one here. If you like videos like this, comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. All that does help out the channel. As far as the camera itself goes, we're gonna put it right here. And I'm just going to tap in, probably the easiest would be to tap into this light here for my power. And of course, like I said before, the only way I'm going to have constant power in this trailer is to have my headlights on. So again, I'll just drive with my headlights on. It's just going to be a little bit more simple than trying to run 12 volt from the van back for constant power. Well, it's probably a good half hour later. I had to take some interior pieces off my trailer to get to some wiring for the camera itself anyways but like i said i just tapped into this light in here and i'm gonna have to again have the headlights on i have dead center already marked but i just put up my camera and made a little template here of my four holes that are going to hold it in and then in the middle so you got this piece of rubber grommet whatever you want to call this but in the middle it's got a hole for the wiring and you have to get this through, which is easy, about a half inch. So you're probably going to need to drill a half inch hole in the center here. I went ahead and measured that connector on the camera and it is about a half inch. So I got a step bit here. Let's drill this hole. Of course, safety first. Good to go. I ended up going a little bigger than a half inch. I forgot to mention that, um, yes, I got aluminum out here. 
but it's actually metal. So I'm just going to use some self-tapping screws to get this mounted. I think I will put a grommet in here to keep this from rubbing against the metal. There you go. There's the camera up there, and it's working. You also get the two boosters for your TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System. One of them has to go very close to the axle on the trailer. And then the other one, if you need it, can go kind of up by your um, hitch. I know I'm only going to need one, and maybe not even one, but I am going to put this booster right above um, the axle underneath the trailer and um, wire it to the hot wire. So here's your six tire pressure monitors. Give you batteries, and actually came with three extra batteries. These nuts here, there's six of them. You would use these kind of as a um, anti-theft feature. You'd put that on your stem first, put on your monitor, and then you'll back tighten that nut against the monitor to hold it in so someone can't come and just spin it off. All right, let's get some of these batteries in. Just loosen that black cap. Once you get it off, it'll tell you positives on top, which is the um, solid side of the battery. Slide them in, put it back on. Now, you do have a number on there. This one's DD0103. That way you know on your monitor which one you're programming. Obviously, if you put this on the rear right, then you wanna make sure you know it's rear right. So if you do have an issue, you immediately know what tire it is. All right, I'm gonna get all these batteries in. Here we are underneath the trailer. I've temporarily hooked up the signal booster. The green light tells you it's on and then there's a blue light that'll tell you it's sending the signal. It flashes every once in a while. I guess, you know, every so often it sends the signal to the front. You got a power light that's green telling me I got power to it. And then on the other side, there is a signal light that blinks blue every time it's sending a signal. And that's blinking, so we're hooked up. Well, there it is, the signal booster. I just did it right into the wood on the bottom of the trailer. And then I ran my wire over to some 12 volt and secured it with a few of these. There are two ways to program the TPMS. The one way is auto learn, but you need like a power pack to power your monitor here to take it around and get close to the tires. I don't have one of those. I'm sure plenty of people do, but I don't. So I'm gonna do it the manual way, and that's the way I'm gonna show you here. So to get into the section where you need to uh, program your tires, tap the screen once, brings up your cameras. Tap it a second time, you got the TPMS in the corner here. You're gonna tap the tire you're doing, manual ID down here. I took pictures of each of them to get the number off. So let me get on my phone here. All right, this one is DD0117. So I'm gonna hit DD0117. Oop, too many ones. Backspace seven. And then I'm gonna hit the return key to program. There we go. It says it's programmed. And I'm sure it'll take a second or so to bring up the information. Well, I think we're pretty much done. My new Halo View camera and my old Halo View camera, both will accept up to four cameras. The new one, of course, has the TPMS, which is great. And actually has a little bit bigger screen and it just seems much more high quality to monitor and stuff. The reason I'm gonna use both right now is because my front facing camera, it can be, paired with this monitor but it can't be powered by this monitor so it's powered by the other monitor i maybe have to try to figure out how i can power that camera 
Well, I did it. I was able to splice into the uh, cigarette lighter and get some power to my front camera. It might be a little bit hard to tell, but the upper left corner is the front facing camera. Upper right is the back of the van camera and the bottom half is the camera on the trailer. And you can adjust these. You can move them in different spots. You can have just four cameras in each corner. Do whatever you want in the menu. Well, there it is. All hooked up and ready to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. If you want to buy this system, like I said, I had the Halo View for over a year now. Not this system, but my old system, and it worked great. There is sound also, actually, if you want, on the cameras. But if you want this system, we'll put a link below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, share with your friends, comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.